It's really interesting because I think at first blush, you think that there's a disconnect between a business school, as it were, and arts and culture. But what we're specifically known here for at Babson is entrepreneurship. We've been number one on U.S. News and World Reports uh, uh, rankings of colleges uh, for 17 years on entrepreneurship. You know, I was talking with um, a friend last night, an actor friend last night, and I said, it's, you know, your life as an actor is about constant reinvention. You have a TV show that's very popular and very successful, and you're on that TV show, you're the focus of that TV show. That TV show ends and you are out of work. You have to go out and get another job. You have to create a new structure for yourself. Uh, and that, that sense of that circularity that of the freelance actor is, again, very akin to um, the life of the entrepreneur, which is about reinvention and about discovery and about testing and about failing and then about you know, uh, succeeding and then failing again. Um, and I, I think that's so, again, so parallel to the life of a freelance artist, of, of somebody who really has to invent their way of surviving and their way of thriving. And so many of my artist friends are you know, I, I marvel at their entrepreneurial skill sets from being able to teach to being able to do corporate, you know, uh, assisting corporations on communication skills to uh, picking up, you know, TV shows and film. And it's an amazing juggle that, that artists do to su survive and thrive. But it is about invention. Uh, it is about self-invention and creation. And again, I think that's one of the amazing synergies that we're all going to discover more and more as we um, you know, sort of spend more time out here at Babson.